you guys okay so welcome back so today I have a quick little haul for you guys I have been just accumulating items that I've purchased over the last month to two months and I feel like I'm ready to do a little haul video I have like some stuff that was released pretty recently that I really want to kind of jump in and use once I get through my shop my stash stuff <laughs> and so I'm ready to do a haul for you guys so hopefully you are ready to sit back relax just kind of chill you know grab your little snack or something and check out what I got and also maybe you might come across something that you find interesting that you want to buy because a lot of items that I buy um, just kind of here and there picking up things you know because that's why typically I have like a collective haul for like a month or two because I kind of like see things that people use and I just kind of grab them here and there and you know put them to the side till I'm ready to use them and then after a while it kind of builds up and we're ready for a haul so like I said maybe you might see something you're interested in or you already have and you want to give me some information down in the comment section below on your feelings thoughts things like that but let's go ahead and jump right in for this haul it is what may is it may it's may <laughs> so i'm gonna start out with some items that i've kind of picked up here and there from sephora i did not really do much during the sephora sale i think i might have bought two things because it wasn't really anything that I wanted and I don't just buy stuff just because there's a sale anymore because I end up buying stuff I really don't need. So this first item here I picked up actually because I saw Andrea Renee using it. She gets me to buy all kind of stuff. I really need to start, you know, charging her because she <laughs> gets me to buy so much stuff. This is the Makeup Forever Velvet Matte Velvet Skin. This is a blurring powder foundation and I got the shade Y505 and so this is what the box looks like if you're familiar with Makeup Forever packaging. Um, yeah, it comes in this little tin here and this is what the back looks like. So let me show you what this powder looks like. I saw her with it and I saw her using it and I was like, oh, that looks like a really nice powder. And I really don't buy Makeup Forever products. I don't know why, I just don't. Maybe they're more geared towards actual, you know, makeup artists and stuff, but I thought this powder looked really, really nice when she used it, really smooth, really velvety. So I said, let me go ahead and try it out so we'll see how this works for me it does come with look what looks like a little sponge applicator or whatever on the other side so half of the pan is the powder the other half is the applicator and there's a cute little mirror in here so can't wait to try that out also from Sephora I did pick up some lashes these are actually Sephora brand lashes I've never tried Sephora brand lashes and they were in the sales section for like seven bucks so I decided to try some out. This first one here is called Aquamarine. I don't know if you can see that, but that's what those look like. This next one here is called Rose Quartz. So that's what those look like. I'm trying not to give you too much glare, but still have the lighting. And then this last one here is Amethyst, which is really, really pretty. I like those. It's like, let me see if I can. Yeah, I could take them out, but... You see how that looks? I really, really like lashes like that. That's really pretty. So yeah, these were in the sales section for seven bucks. So I just got one pair of each to try them out. Now this is not new by any means, but for some reason, I just had to have this palette. I think after I purchased some palettes during the last menagerie cosmetics, you know, when they restocked all of their palettes and they sold out like that, I was on their site filling my cart putting all the palettes in that I wanted and the purple one sold out while it was in my cart so got taken out of my cart it was gone sold out yada yada and I feel like this Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsessions I've wanted this palette forever and just never picked it up because of course I have 
a million purple palettes but I just kind of felt like this was a very similar color story to that purple palette from Menagerie Cosmetics that sold out. Hopefully I can grab it when it comes back. But I picked this up, you know, just trying to scratch that itch. And I've actually always wanted this palette. It's really pretty. Next, I did go ahead and grab a couple more of the LYS blushes. Um, well, actually, a couple of the LYS blushes because I wanted them when I grabbed my foundation and powder, but they were sold out. So I did kind of stock the website waiting for these to come back on Sephora. And when they did, I scooped some up real quick. Now, this first one here is called Inspire. So that is the shade for Inspire. So, so pretty. Right up my alley. This next one is called Passion. <laughs> so that is what Passion looks like. Really gorgeous, beautiful kind of fuchsia shade. And these are cream blushes as you can see. I love me a good cream blush. Right now I actually have on one of the Moira blushes, kind of like, you know, that ombre orange one. Love that blush, you guys. They're so freaking pigmented. Now this I did actually pick up during the Sephora sale. It's their latest Gloss Bomb Cream Duo. And this one is, what is it called? Double Take? I don't know. But anyways, that's what it looks like. Um, I did put a picture up on my Instagram of these, but I haven't tried them out yet. So you get Bubble Binge and Cupcake. So Bubble Binge is a really pretty kind of pink shade, which is this one here bubble binge and then this one i like both of these they're gorgeous this one is cupcake but i love these gloss bomb creams oh my gosh they feel so good actually i have one on right now <laughs> they feel so good so yeah pick that up now you guys i don't know i've really been wanting to try out like some new loose powders and pressed powders and stuff and this one here, this Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Powder, I picked up the shade Cinnamon Bun. I'm hoping that this will be a good shade for under my eyes. Not sure. Very nice packaging with the box and everything. But I've never tried any Huda Beauty powder before. This is how it comes packaged. Very, very nice. I love the square packaging. And like I said, this one is the shade Cinnamon Bun, if you're curious. But I'm going to try this under my eyes and see how I like it. I also picked up this new Tatcha Silk Powder. The one that came, I think, I'm hoping, in the latest Trend Mood box as well. I missed out on that box and I was like really upset about it. But it's all good. <laughs> I went ahead and just picked up the powder so I can try it out and... So it has here a little sample of the Silk Canvas Primer in here. And as usual, the packaging for Tatcha is just so immaculate, which it should be for the pricing. But this is what the little powder container looks like. I'm not going to open it all the way up. I'm sure there are reviews on this, but so glad to try this. It looks so, so nice. And I hear it's really like fine and, you know, just looks really smooth and blurring i guess and then i also got this gucci powder this one is <laughs> i blame my girl lily for this because she bought this and showed it and i was like girl do i need that gucci powder i got the shade 12 you know you never know right and she was like yes you're gonna love it check it out so we'll see you guys know gucci is like so luxurious so it comes in this little soft velvet type uh pouch <laughs> and then you take out the actual powder and it's like this really pretty like baby pink oh my gosh that's so gorgeous look at that it's so pretty and this is the shade that i have here so that is what that shade looks like can't wait to try it out okay and then also I wanted to try out the Gucci foundation this is the Gucci natural finish fluid foundation so this is what the box looks like 
um what shade did i get 410w <laughs> y'all i just be ordering these foundations online i don't go out and shop i don't okay i'm just i'm not ready she's not ready <laughs> i'm ready to go to the beach and i'm and hang out but i'm not ready to just be shopping all in the stores so this is the gucci foundation shade that i picked hopefully it works for me you know it's a um frosted bottle so so gorgeous but yeah this is 410w and typically i watch you know people with similar skin tones and even if they're a little bit slightly darker or slightly lighter i can kind of gauge what foundation i want to try from watching their videos so yeah i did kind of check this one out and want to see if i like that or not um another item i did pick up from the little sales section on sephora is this mark jacobs now i don't really paint my y'all i know y'all hear my dog sorry i don't really paint my fingernails because you know i just pop some on or whatever and sometimes they're colored sometimes they're not i like to paint my toenails though and i saw this mark jacobs enamored high shine lacquer um polish on sale on sephora this is the color shocking and i was like oh my gosh that's gorgeous this is definitely a shade i will wear on my toes honey my hands too for sure but yeah my toes my husband likes bright toes especially during the spring and summer so i was like i'm gonna get that because i really don't buy like the nail polishes and stuff from sephora but i did grab that one okay also um, I have to blame my girl Lily for this. I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I wanted to try this out now. It says, look at this. Isn't that pretty? It says, party all night, stay all day. Okay. And I feel like this might be a really good setting spray. It's like a lot of setting sprays I use and it's like they'll kind of mesh my makeup into my skin like right now it's like you can see i'm kind of like getting a little glowy but i'm under these hot lights and stuff um but they'll mesh my makeup into my skin and help it to kind of you know have a nice natural healthy glow type look but then after a while it's kind of like mm, is it really holding my makeup in place i don't know so i'm gonna try this and see how i like it Next, I have this Tatcha The Rice Wash. This is a soft cream cleanser. I think this is um, another one that I can blame on my girl, Lily. I just be watching, <laughs> watching stuff like, oh, I want that, I want that. So this is just their rice cream cleanser. Oh my gosh, I love a nice, just creamy, smooth, you know, just lathery cleanser. And... I'm hoping that I like this because, honey, this stuff wasn't cheap. And, you know, you always need a face wash because you need to be washing your face multiple times a day. So, went ahead and tried that out. Now, I got a couple of samples. You know, Sephora, they be having all kind of different samples and stuff. And one of the samples they sent me is this NARS Tinted Moisturizer. It has SPF 30 in it. So cute little sample that they sent with my order. And this one is Deep One. I don't know, you guys. You know these tinted moisturizers? You can kind of, you know, multiple people can use different shades. But we'll see. I mean, that looks like it might work for me. And, you know, tinted moisturizers are really huge right now because it being spring going into summer and people not wanting a whole lot of cakey makeup on their face they also sent me this i think what it was with these two um was there was like a little code promotional code that you could put in to get these i don't remember but this one is from clinique it's the beyond perfecting super concealer so this is what the little box looks like and let me show you what this color looks like just in case you're curious this is deep 28 um i know some people kind of like clinique products but this is what the little sample of deep 28 looks like so if that looks like something that you want to try you know maybe see if you can get a sample of that but this one is a camouflage 24 hour wear concealer 
I'm definitely going to try that out. And also with um, a couple of my orders, I actually got two of these. This is a really nice sample pack of fragrances. Okay, I love getting sample fragrances because, you know, when you travel, when we do start traveling again, it's so much easier to just pop those in your travel bag instead of trying to take um, one of your nice big bottles of perfume. And you can take different scents with you. So yeah, this one came with quite a few different sample scents for me to try out. So I love these. And I got two of these, you know, because I was able to grab one with two different orders. So y'all, I am set when it comes to little sample perfumes, okay? Now I also picked up this Tatcha Dewy Skin Favorites to Go. I think the reason why I grabbed this was because I wanted to try the Dewy Skin Mist. Yeah, I wanted to try their Dewy Skin Mist, but I didn't want to buy a full size one just in case I didn't like it. And when I saw this little combo kit, I was like, oh, okay, I can try all three. So this one here is the Tatcha Liquid, um, primer I believe and then it also has a serum stick which is really really cool so this is what you can see that this is what the little sample kit looks like I love these because you could try this stuff out if you love it you buy a full size if you don't like it you didn't waste too much money you know what I mean now this I didn't pick up from Sephora I ordered it as soon as Natasha Denona announced this I know I wanted it because I thought it was pretty so I ordered it I mean everybody got theirs before me which I didn't don't understand I actually had to email them and ask them where my palette was because I ordered it within the first 30 seconds of it dropping and I saw people you know <laughs> all kind of people doing videos and I hadn't even gotten my shipping notifications so I'm like uh, hello so this is the new Zendo palette from Natasha Denona you know it's like a lot of glare so you can see all kind of stuff going on there but yeah that's what she looks like really really pretty and then this is the inside of this palette so it's not anything you know super colorful or super monumental which she just came out with the circle loco that i love to death so that's all good this one i just really loved the warmth of it and then of course you know these blues are gorgeous to me kind of like different types of shades of blue i kind of like that really pretty so yeah i can see myself doing kind of like a santa fe type eye look with this with a pop of blue really really pretty and the packaging is gorgeous as well so like that okay you guys so i don't know if i was just really feeling many palettes as they was coming out over the last couple of months but when i look at my haul i'm like girl you went crazy with many palettes and so yeah you'll see i'm about to show you guys some of the many palettes that i bought now i did purchase some items from playing and makeup by yolando i love her palettes but i wanted to try out some other things um and i did grab her loose powder now i don't know if this shade is going to be one that i like i got the shade secret and i don't know you guys it might be a little a little light for under my eyes okay i like to brighten but you know this is like really light so we'll see <laughs> we'll see i might have to do some little mixing or something because i'm not really into my under eyes being super duper bright so we'll see but that is the shade secret again beautiful square packaging now i also picked up some of her little tiny palettes these are kind of like um what are they like chemistry element themed palettes so very very cute i didn't get them all i don't know if there was one or two that i didn't get but this one is mixy mauves which is the purple one look at these colors you guys gorgeous very very pretty i like these tones in here the packaging is not my favorite maybe i'm just not a chemistry person but <laughs> 
Y'all, when I was in high school, man, I passed chemistry like by the skin of my teeth, you guys. I was in there after school, extra credit. My teacher was helping me. I don't know what it was about chemistry that was just so hard for me, but honey, I passed it though. I passed that mug. But yeah, anyways, this is the purple one. <laughs> this one is Gaseous Greens. And this one is really pretty as well. Has some different shades in there. Not your typical green palette. Very, very pretty. And I noticed that some of these have glitter and some of them don't. So this one is Protonic Pinks. And that's what that one looks like. See, that one has a glitter like the purple one. Very, very pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. I need to do like some type of comparison because like all of these brands are coming out with little mini monochromatic palettes still. This one here is, is this Burning Burgundies, y'all. Burning Burgundies. Yeah, that's what this one is gorgeous look at that really pretty this one and I'm not really big on reds but this one is actually one of my favorites it is really really gorgeous I love burgundy though so maybe that's why you know I'm more into like the deep rich kind of dark reds so maybe that's why I like that one and the last one I picked up is called noble blues so it's the blue packaging and that is what Noble Blues looks like. So yeah, these are all from Playing and Makeup by Yolando. She has them on her website. She might have like a whole group that you can buy if you wanna buy all of them together, but I'm not sure. I think the crayon case, yeah, I think my friend picked up the ones from the crayon case, so they have some as well. Now I picked up these mini palettes these are all from Unique Beauty. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Unique Beauty. There's an E in front of the Unique. So I always say Unique Beauty. But these palettes, absolutely gorgeous, you guys. I really, really need to get off my butt and use these palettes because they are so bomb. This one is Volume 1. Um, and they, they're like different sets. This set goes together here. Um, these three go together one two and three I can't think of the name of this set but let me show them to you so this is volume one and this is what volume one looks like oh gorgeous you can see that that this shade here when it came it was a little dinged up and because of that it kind of you know leaked you know how those shades kind of leak out into the palette. I hate that because it looks like a grease stain, but I'm kind of used to it by now. So this is volume two. Super cute. And this is what volume two looks like. I love those colors. The green, the red, and the yellow. Very, very pretty. This is volume three. I love that design. Super cute colors in here are bomb as well volume three and this is a black owned brand I believe um, she's in the UK if I'm not mistaken this one is pamper me so that's what that one looks like she did come out with another set of three but I didn't buy all three I just bought two of them one of them I didn't really care for so instead of wasting money I didn't buy it which is so unlike me because I am definitely a completionist <laughs> when it comes to sets and palettes and stuff, but I'm doing better, y'all. I didn't buy all three. I just bought two. This one is called Bubble Time. Very, very cute packaging, okay? And look at that color story. Absolutely gorgeous. So, so pretty. I love those aqua shades. Yeah, definitely. I have to use this one like very soon and I do love ColourPop I'm a ColourPop lover I've never had a haul I don't believe that didn't have ColourPop in it <laughs> but I did pick up like their last set uh, well I can't even say their last set because they might have come out with another set since they released these actually 
Y'all know they release every day. But these are really, really pretty monochromatic palettes from ColourPop that I did not need in my life. But then again, I did kind of need them in my life. Okay. <laughs> so this purple one, absolutely gorgeous. It's called Cashmere Forever. And this one is actually one of my favorites. Look how pretty that is. Gorgeous. This next one here is called Rumor Has It. This is another one of my favorites. But you guys know I love blues and purples. So that's Rumor Has It. This one here is called Too Hot. Too Hot, okay. Gorge. If you like pink, honey. Pretty. This next one here is called High Society, okay. <laughs> That's pretty as well. Has some lighter green shades in there. And honestly, I feel like what I would do is kind of like with these different mini palettes is I would kind of like mix and match, kind of combine, you know, like I might mix this palette along with this palette, you know, and just kind of mix them together when creating an eye look because you guys know when I create eye looks occasionally this is like a really simple look I have on right now but for the most part I like to use as many colors as I can <laughs> so you know like combining these two palettes they are very very similar deeper you know greens in there different shades of green mattes and you know so it'd be a nice palette for me to sit down and kind of combine together just mix in the greens so yeah very very nice but this last one here is called statement piece and this one is really pretty if you like orangey peachy type eyeshadow you know i know everybody's not into the blues and greens and purples this is really really pretty especially like for spring and summer i mean as you can see right now i have something similar to this color story on my eyes right now so yeah got those Okay, you guys, also from ColourPop, I did grab one of their cheek palettes, the new quad. I got the, sh well, I got the color Sweet Roll. So that's what the back looks like. But yeah, very cute packaging. I only picked up one. <laughs> the old KK would have got like all of them just to test them all out or just to have them. But I got the darkest one and she actually looks like she might be she might be um pretty nice what confuses me is the fact that the two blush shades are so freaking similar um they are like really similar i don't know honey but anyways the bronzer and the highlighter very pretty but the blushes are a little too similar similar to me i know this one appears a little bit lighter but when I put them on my cheeks, honey, they're going to look the same, okay? So, but yeah, very, very pretty. And then lastly from ColourPop, something that I never buy. I wanted to try out this Feather Effect Styling Wax. So, it's a brow product. Y'all, I don't use the wax on my brows because for one, I don't have many brows to be waxing and to be soaping up and laying down i don't have a lot of brows i have to draw my brows on okay so i don't know how this is gonna work out but i'm gonna go ahead and try to just kind of lay down the hairs that i actually do have and work around it but it comes in this little round compact like this i have uh oh it just says tinted so i guess it's just one dark shade called tinted i don't know but that's what that looks like. So it looks pretty dark. And it's a wax. So that's what that looks like. And it also comes with this Feather Effect Brow Brush. So it comes in this separate little box. But it's like a little kit. So let me show you what this brush looks like. Y'all, I don't know. Does anybody else find it hard to like <laughs> try new things when it comes to your brows and stuff? Because it's like... Honey, once you figure out what works for you, you just kind of stick with it. But I do want to try something different because it might I might like it better. So it's this little bent angle type brush. Of course, you know, it has a little protector on there. But it just looks like a spoolie. And it just goes along with your little brow gel. So 
we'll see what happens okay you guys let me know down in the comment section if any of you have sparse brows like I do if something like this even works for you or the best way to use it okay now I only picked up a couple of items from Beauty Bay I haven't really been on there I kind of went crazy with buying palettes um, earlier in the year for the holiday season so I haven't really been going ham on there but I did pick up some of their eyeliners and obviously what I don't like about these eyeliners is you have to read them to know which color you're grabbing I don't like that because you guys know I have to put my glasses on to read anything small <laughs> so I'm like y'all couldn't just put the color on you know the bottom or something like normal brands do but let me just open these up and hopefully the camera will pick up most of the colors so you guys can see which ones I got they were on sale too so um, and I believe I've heard Tammy Tammy Clark makeup by Tammy use these and say she really really likes them so these are the colors that i have and are these twist up oh thank you jesus yes they do twist up <laughs> so yeah i love um you know uh eyeliner that twists up because honey all that sharpening is like it just gets to be a bit much so yeah they twist up very nicely i love that so grab some of those and the only other thing I picked up from Beauty Bay, I believe, is this XX Revolution Extortion Palette. And I don't know, I might have showed this before already as well, because it's so pretty. But I don't remember. But yeah, it's just a really pretty monochromatic type green palette. And it looks like they're, what, three matte? No. The light shade is like a shimmer a shimmer as well so two mattes two shimmers in there perfect <laughs> gorgeous okay so let's talk about some indie brand stuff right quick now my girl dj just peachy d if you don't follow her here on youtube that's her channel name and her boutique is called dj's unique boutique she has a instagram website all of that good stuff and she sells some amazing beauty um products so she came out with a bundle recently these are loose pigments and i love loose pigments okay extremely gorgeous color story i know it's hard to see through the little goodie bag but very very pretty for springtime for summer if you want to dibble and dabble in some loose pigments definitely check these out very affordable but it's called the take me to the beach loose pigment bundle check them out I have a video on these if you are curious about them as well so you can find that on my channel her channel as well <laughs> so and Instagram so yeah got these now I did grab a few items from Ulta and Ulta has been working my last nerve because their packaging is like horrible okay absolutely horrible and I've had two shipments of the same palette break on me so they just had to give me a refund at this point but yeah a couple of i bought the two new um la girl palettes i love these style of palettes i actually collect them at this point love them love the formula this one is really cute it says hey hey vacay and the name on this is good times and tan lines so that's what the packaging looks like. Super pretty, isn't it? <laughs> and then this is what the palette looks like. Let me take this plastic off because I'm I stay blind in you guys with this reflection. Okay. So this is what this one looks like. So so pretty. And you know what? This is so funny. This one looks like what is that the Natasha Denona palette that just came out doesn't it don't it though okay you know it has those pretty warm sienna type shades and then those same blues up in there honey so I believe I got these on sale it's so funny because they go on sale like right when they come out 
but I think they're usually like $19.99 or something. But if you want something with the same color story, and this formula, if they haven't changed it, is bomb. Check it out. Okay. I'm just realizing that. I'm like, that looks just like the Natasha Denona. Okay. And this is the one that kept coming broken. Hey, hey, vacay gorgeous same type of packaging but it has the green theme and this one is called under the palms and so you'll be able to see you know i've gotten really good at like cleaning up my palettes and repressing shadows and stuff you know you have to but yeah you can see the shimmers that came dinged up i had to repress them and kind of clean off the matte shades and whatnot but this is the color story for this one super duper pretty yeah i really like that these greens are gorgeous and then the soft oranges very pretty but i have two of them that <laughs> and they're both damaged okay also from ulta i picked up this morphe times avani greg for the bibs honey i don't know what that means or who that is but yeah i got this because it was so freaking colorful so freaking pretty i was like um yes please <laughs> so yeah this is what this palette looks like you guys and yeah i'm just drooling right now looking at it it's so freaking colorful i believe down here are more of the uh, water activated liners if i'm not mistaken yeah yeah down here are water activated liners which i feel like you can use them as eyeshadows might not be as bold and pigmented as eyeshadows but definitely really really pretty colors for water activated liners which i love to do and then the other shades in here are gorgeous as well so yeah this palette is super pretty to me and then lastly from ulta i did pick up a new mascara this is the la girl jet setter mascara it says lash and go so that's what it looks like. I wanted to try this out and see if I like it or not. It's really, really pretty. You can see that packaging in there, but yeah, I wanted to try out a new mascara, so I grabbed that. Actually, I think with the LA Girl stuff, it was like buy two, get one product free. So I think that's how I ended up trying out that mascara. Okay, so let's jump into some indie brand stuff, okay? I got this Break the Rules palette. Um, what is the name of this? It's Belle. It's Belle Cosmetics. This palette has sold out, I don't know, three, four times. So I finally went in and jumped in on the pre-order and was able to grab it, but it is the Break the Rules palette. And I believe these are all duo or multi-chrome shades absolutely gorgeous there's definitely a lot of videos on the tube um, showing this palette swatches people using it but yeah i really can't wait to use it i'm definitely going to swatch it out to see which shades i want to use first but yeah very very pretty and from what i understand there's like and what i've noticed there's several different palettes like this coming out that have like complete palettes of multi chromes and dual chromes and stuff and the formula is kind of similar so i know i have ordered one more that i do have coming so i'm gonna kind of check them out and see how similar the formulas are because from what i understand this formula is supposed to be pretty nice i did pick up some singles from black moxie cosmetics i have them in one of my little palettes here but yeah, I did go ahead and pick up these. As you can see, I always kind of do my little ghetto name in the corner here because I have so many singles now. It's hard for me to remember sometimes which is where. So yeah, these are really pretty. Let me swatch a couple for you guys. Just in case you're curious. I don't think, ooh, that's smooth that's weird <laughs> but yeah i don't know if these are as aggressive as some other oh okay okay yeah those are pretty 
Okay, Black Moxie. Black Moxie Cosmetics. Hello. Ooh, yeah. Those are really pretty. Really pretty. Okay. <laughs> okay, don't regret buying those at the moment. I also picked up a few more shadows from Terra Moon Cosmetics. I already had some Terra Moon shadows, which are the top eight. Love them. They're amazing. These seven at the bottom are new ones that I ordered that just came. And I also ordered their latest bundle. I can't think of the name of it, but it was a pre-order. So I don't know when I'm going to get those. So yeah, I have some extra space in here for some more Terra Moon shadows. If you're not familiar with their formula, it is so bomb. I love Terra Moon shadows. Okay. Very, very nice. And y'all... <laughs> After a lifetime, a lifetime of actually trying to convince myself, or I shouldn't say convince myself, allow myself to buy these because y'all, these shadows is bright state, okay? But I just had to try them. These Cleona Cosmetics stained glass, of course I got the jeweled or... Is it the jeweled multi-chrome stained glass shadows? Because they're so super colorful and they have the dark base. I really like a dark base. But yeah, have not played with these yet. I'm just kind of taking my time, okay? Because if you're familiar with these, you know how precious they are, okay? So yeah, went ahead, finally got these. I ordered these like last fall sometime, I believe. You know, because it takes a while to get these shadows, but y'all, gorgeous, and I love them to death. I cannot wait to play with these, honestly. I really can't. It's just kind of like, okay, well, which mats are deserving to be used with those shadows, <laughs> okay? But anywho, got those. Um, I picked up this palette here. This is by, is it called Metamorphous? Mm, I'll have to look it up and put it on the screen. I came across this brand on Instagram, of course. This is called Lily Croaks. <laughs> look at that, so cute. But the color story, I was like, hello, okay. And looking at it, you know, those same beautiful greens that are hot right now, blues, beautiful earthy warm tones and stuff color story on this is so so cute so i wanted to try out this brand you know see if i like it give them a little bit of shine if i do maybe i'll do some on instagram but yeah this color story definitely pulled me in thought it was pretty now y'all know i had to grab some juvia's place stuff because juvia's place has been dropping some cute little hot little fire okay now she did come out with an eye base a little while ago never tried it but actually i think i grabbed this from ulta as well if i'm not mistaken but yeah i wanted to try one of the eye bases and i typically like a lighter eye base and so look at the pack even the packaging for the eye base is crazy cute okay so pretty so this is what shade did i get color number two <laughs> So yeah, I got color number two, which is like the light, you know, not the lightest, but the middle shade, lighter than the dark one. I also picked up one of their new little bronzer duos. This one is called Bronzed Bronzer in the shade Dark. Look at that. Ooh, 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 ooh honey. Has a little mirror in here, but when I saw this, I was like, yes, Lord, yes, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i grabbed this oh my gosh i cannot wait to try it i'm surprised i didn't try it out today actually because i do have julia's place on my eyes what i have on my eyes is the bronzed rustic palette okay and i do feel feel very bronzed and rustic with this all matte eye look i didn't use any of the shimmers but the mattes absolutely gorgeous i love them so this is what she looks like okay once again if you're into this kind of like warm just earthy type of eyeshadow then check it out and then lastly i got the blushed rose okay look at that 
Ugh, man, the packaging. And these colors, as you can see, can definitely be used on the eyes, on the cheeks, you know, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, this palette is pretty. Just looking at it right now, it is so freaking pretty. That's gorgeous. And those colors for blush? Yes, please. <laughs> so that is it for Juvia's Place. I did grab a few things in the Boxy Pop. Uh, now, I just got my May Boxy Charm Premium, I believe. So I will be unboxing that probably after I go through this stuff. So I don't know which video will be up first, but I did get that box. I don't have my base, but I did get my premium. But I did grab some items from the pop-up or the add-on. I never know which one it is. I think it's the pop-up because they come separately. So this Natasha Denona palette, the Jubilee. Now, I like this color story and I think it's a super cute little palette. But I don't know. It seems like I heard like a bad review or something on this palette. So I'm like, mm. but anyways. I think it's cute. I'm not necessarily sure how I would combine these shades together, but you guys know I'm crazy. I'll put all of these shades on my eyes at once if I feel like it. But I just wanted to add this to my collection because I really like how it looks. I like the color story and I think it's pretty. Now, I also picked up this Sparkling Cherry Lime Aid palette from Violet Voss, one of their cute little mini palettes. This is what it looks like. Those are the shades in here very colorful very spring and summer appropriate but you know what i realized i really need to stop buying these palettes like the kind of colorful all shimmer type palettes because i'm so spoiled from my indie brand shimmers that is like now when i use shimmers like this it's like unless they're just amazing they let me down you know and i don't want to give a bad review or have a bad impression of what's really a decent shimmer <clears throat> just because I've gotten spoiled you know what I mean <laughs> like that's not fair is it is it is it so yeah this um Violet Voss Flamingo palette has been out forever some people love it some people hate it I've just been curious about it for the longest and since it was on sale in the boxy add-on or pop-up I went ahead and grabbed it so that's what she looks like. And that is the Violet Voss Flamingo palette. I also grabbed these Clean Skin Club Clean Towels. I've been curious about these things ever since I saw, I don't know what it was, a little uh, commercial thing on Instagram or something talking about how much bacteria there is in your face towel and when you wash your face you should re really use something like this because they're clean and hygienic and yada 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 i don't know how much i really care about that because i've been using wash towels since i was knee high to a grasshopper and my face is okay <laughs> so but they were on sale boxy pop-up and i want to try them out i really do i'm curious just to kind of see how they are you know what? let me open this right quick So it says it's the world's first ever biodegradable, sustainably sourced, and ultra soft face towel. One product, dozens of uses, and the ultimate skincare routine game changer. Okay. Okay, so it just opens up like this for easy dispensing. And that's what they look like. Okay. I don't really want to waste one, but it's all good. So I'm just pulling one out. Oh, yeah, it's kind of thick. So it feels thick enough to dry your face, you know, after you wash it or whatever. And it just looks like a paper towel, okay? But it, it is pretty sturdy. And, you know, it has the woven, woven fabric on there, just in case you're curious. You know, I know a lot of you guys might have BoxyCharm and are curious about some of the other products that are in the pop-up. This is what they look like, okay? <laughs> so... Yeah, I mean, that's fine. I'll try them out and see if my face is any less nasty, okay? <laughs> 
And then lastly from the pop up, which I'm surprised I grabbed this because I have so many lip products, you guys. I say I am not buying any more lip products, but I did grab this from Jouer. This is a lip glass, cute little box that it comes in. And what shade is this? Via Condotti, is that the name of the shade? It says it has coconut oil. It's really, really pretty, you guys. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? It's more of like a fall shade, quite honestly. But that is really pretty. So yeah, I got this in the pop-up on sale. Has a very interesting packaging. I don't know if these kind of connect or click together or if you can even see. You see that kind of like well right there? I don't know. Do they click together? You guys let me know. But yeah, regardless, this is an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous shade. Very vampy. And with it being a lip glass, I'm expecting it to be super duper shiny. Okay, we're coming on a home stretch, you guys. <laughs> so I did pick up some things from Profusion. They said they were having a sale, and I haven't really purchased from Profusion in quite a while. And I wanted to see what they had for sale and, you know, kind of grab some things if they had some good stuff on sale so i did pick up some of their new electric bold liners um i did see my girl lily with these as well you guys know i love colored liners so i did pick up some of these so i have this green one i have the purple one i have this orange one they have a blue one and then they have this bright pink one. I believe I did get them all. So yeah, some liquid liners to play with. And I did grab some eyelashes because they were very, very reasonably, reasonably priced. Just a couple of bucks for these lashes. And I thought these were really cute, kind of dainty and natural looking. These are Iconic Lashes in O oh Darling. And then these are Iconic 3D Faux Mink Lashes. It just says, oh my lashes. <laughs> so that's what those look like. And I believe these are the same. I got two of these. I think these were only like a couple of bucks per um, set, you know, of two lashes in there. So very good deal. And then lastly from Profusion, I did pick up this Blush and Glow palette, okay? I haven't tried out a Blush and Glow palette from them in quite a while. So I did go ahead and grab this. So that's what the packaging looks like. And if you're not familiar with Profusion, they are a very, very affordable brand. I actually think they're based out here in Los Angeles. I'm in California, Southern California. And because I usually get my orders pretty quickly from them. So I think they are based out here um, in downtown Los Angeles or somewhere. But this is what this palette looks like. So it has the blush, little bronzer, highlighter, you know. I don't know if that bronzer will work for me, but the blushes definitely will. And there's a super bright highlighter in here in a corner nice beautiful highlighter bronzers and then blush so yeah very very cute now this is a skin tint from the lip bar it's called just a tint i have the shade honey dip so yeah it's from the lip bar it's a skin tint and it's called honey dip that's the shade i have yeah, so like I was saying with the skin tints and the tinted moisturizers and stuff, they're very, very popular right now. I know some people have always been using them, but you know how we go through different cycles. Um, but yeah, this is their skin tint, and I'm really excited to try this out. This is another item that Andrea Renee got me to buy. <laughs> she did a whole video actually comparing different skin tints and like tinted moisturizers and stuff. And this one was, spoiler alert, very high on the list. <laughs> so 
had to try it okay okay you guys so this part of the video might look just a little bit different because i actually just got this in the mail <laughs> right after i was done filming so i'm gonna go ahead and stick this in but i got this platinum hits palette from indie beat cosmetics this is one of the like all duo and multi-chrome palettes that i was talking about that these brands are coming out with and I was really curious about this one. This one, I think, was actually not that inexpensive. I think it was like a 68 bucks or something like that. But, yeah, I really wanted to just try one of these out. So, let's go ahead and take a look and hope and pray that none of it broke in transit. But, yeah, I just got this right now. It's called Platinum Hits. Oh, she's pretty. Okay, yeah. So you can really kind of see the similarity with the different brands, you know, that are coming out in the different color stories and shades for these multi-chrome shadows. So yeah, this is what the palette looks like right here. Ooh, do I want to swatch a couple of these for you guys or no? Nah? Yeah, let me go ahead and just swatch a couple, okay? Oh, feels very, very smooth. Okay, yeah, these are very, very pretty, very smooth, very creamy. Okay, so. Ooh, okay. Yeah, those are pretty. Very pretty. I don't know if I say they're like super remarkable or anything, but... Yeah, very gorgeous. Definitely shades that if you buy a lot of multi-chrome shades or shifting type shimmers, you might already have something like this. Um, trying to see another. Let me do this green shade in the corner here. If I can pick it up on my pinky. So that's what that one looks like. <laughs> <laughs> sorry for the crazy swatch you guys so yeah absolutely gorgeous shimmery wise but yeah definitely looks very familiar to shimmers that i already have in my collection of course so just wanted to swatch a few for you guys if you don't have um like duochromes or multi-chromes or super shiny shimmers and you want to just get one palette of all of the goodness then you might want to think about picking up one of these palettes so yeah this one is the platinum hits from indie beat cosmetics that's what she looks like and those are some of the swatches i would definitely take this to travel with instead of like trying to go through my shimmers and pull out different singles and stuff that I want to take with me. I would definitely take something like this traveling, you know, to travel with. So, yeah. And I do have here a non-makeup related item, but it is a beauty item. I wanted to try out some nose cuffs. I've seen like some absolutely gorgeous nose jewelry that's not, you know, piercings on Instagram and this brand it looks like they're called Dasani Speaks yeah I think it's Dasani Speaks this is the little insert that came with the order they are on Instagram it looks like Facebook as well but they do have different beautiful handmade jewelry black owned business and you know I just wanted to support and just kind of check them out so yeah um it says, thank you again for your support. Part of your purchase went to a small agency that provides mental health services to my community. So thank you again for helping me use beauty and fashion to help people one piece at a time. So you guys know I really like that because I really, really like different um, support for mental health issues. It's something that's really, really near and dear to my heart. And honey, I'm here for it. Let's remove the stigma. Okay, let's remove the stigma. So very cute. They did a little handwritten note here. Thank you so much for your support and patience. Hope you love your cuffs. So I got two nose cuffs. One is the Genesis nose cuff 
in silver copper paradise and the other one is genesis nose cuff in silver copper silk shimmer so they come in this cute little they were wrapped up in plastic as well but come in one of these cute little baggies here so let me just show you the cuffs that i bought unfortunately i don't know which is which they look very similar quite honestly because it's kind of like my style but let me show you what they look like here and i don't know you know if i'm even going to like these because i've tried like larger nose rings and stuff on my nose and honestly it's hard for me to wear them or hoops because i can see it in my peripheral like this i can't see at all but when i try to put on a hoop even a small one i can see it and it bothers me but this is what the little nose cuffs look like if you can see that very pretty it's just like a little cuff and it has that gorgeous gorgeous gem in there so i'm gonna try it on right now okay so i'm not gonna take my nose ring out i'm just going to put this cuff on and see how it looks oh it's tight <laughs> It definitely fits tight so of course I would move it over some because you know I would put it where my nose ring is oh that's cute that's cute I like it what that's cute though yeah that's cute it, it is it is out there it is a bit much for me I'm gonna have to take my nose ring out <sighs> Let me take my nose ring out right here, right quick. Okay, and let me see if I can move it over some. It's really tight. Okay, let's see if I can cover up my hole. Yeah, I don't know if I'm covering it up all the way, but I'm covering it up enough. <laughs> What y'all think? Y'all let me know. That's kind of cute. It's different though. I definitely have to get used to it because it is kind of big. But it's gorgeous though. That diamond is pretty. I like. That's pretty. I'm going to try it out. See what my husband say. He don't like a whole lot of stuff on my face like that. I barely got him to get used to that little nose ring. <laughs> so... We'll see what he says, though. But I think it's kind of cute. We're going to try it out. Okay, so, yeah. So, I got two of those. This one actually looks very similar. Like, almost the exact same as far as, you know, the actual um, stone goes. I know, it's just my style. So, but that's it. Really, really cute. I like it a lot. And then, lastly, you guys, I did pick up this giant color wheel from beauty creations that has um like eyeshadow tints and liners and bases in it okay and i have already put them like in my little drawers and whatnot so in the giant color wheel you do get the base um the cream base or cream liner you know gel liners you do get regular pencil liners which are very pigmented, I might add. And then you also get the cream bases that come in the little tubes, okay? So, this one doesn't fit in here, but yeah. So you get all of these in the little colorful circle wheel that I purchased. But of course, I've taken everything out because, you know, I use my stuff. But this is what all of that stuff came in. <laughs> if you can see it really big giant cute little color wheels so it's like if you ever want to just kind of play around and let this pick your color or eye look for the day then you can definitely use it for that but i took all of the pencil cream and gel pots out but this is what it came in okay very, very cute okay so yeah i think that is it you guys which of course that is enough as always but I am so, so excited. I'm really excited to try out the Gucci foundation and powder, the Tatcha skincare products, um, my 
Cleona shadows. There's just a lot of stuff that I'm excited to try out. So I really need to get it together. I know I haven't been putting up that much content as far as like actual tutorials and stuff like that on YouTube because for one, they don't get that many views and for two, um, I'm really trying to focus and build up my Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, please definitely check me out on Instagram. If you like colorful eye looks or you just like seeing makeup, cause I do like to post a lot of pictures of makeup because I love makeup on my Instagram. So definitely check me out. Colorful Camille on there. Follow me and we can chat over there as well. So yeah i'm going to try to get back into really diving into get ready with me's and swatch parties and all kind of stuff on my youtube because you know i kind of miss it but i have been kind of busy with my husband us getting our business together and stuff so haven't forgotten i'm still on here i still love you guys i'll be back with more content i promise <laughs> But thank you guys, ride or dies, that stay and stick around and support me through thick and thin. I love you and I will see you on my next video, okay? Thanks for watching. Toodles! <laughs>